The third part of the lecture is on repeated patterns and symmetries. We will start by looking at this geometric Arabic tiling on the underside of the dome of the tomb of Hafiz in Shiran in Iran. It is very usual to see mosaic tilings in Persian architectures. Islamic religion does not allow the depiction of images of living things. This is what we call an iconism. Therefore, Islamic art flourishes in geometric patterns and choreography. We can see that in these three mosaic tilings, there are quite a lot of repeated patterns in them. We can take a look at this YouTube video to appreciate the Islamic art. So basically, many mosaic art make use of tessellation. So what does it mean by tessellation? It means tilings of a flat surface using the same geometric shapes with dealt overlaps or gaps. It appears in the arts of many cultures and was studied thoroughly by mathematicians. So you can see that this one is tessellationed by triangles, this one by squared, this one by hexagon. So basically these three use only one kind of shape. This one make use of squares and triangles. This one squares and octagon. This one square, triangle as well as hexagons. So these two make use of two different shapes and this one makes use of three different shapes. The most famous artist who applied mathematics in art is M.C. Asher. He's a Dutch artist. We can take a look at his artwork. This one is a tessellation of a man riding a horse. This one is flying horses. So these are his early works. This one is a tessellation of a lizard. Fish and birds. This was his later work. This is a combination of different animals. So right now, please pause this video and spend some time watching the autonomy of Asher's tessellation art. So you can find the link in Moodle. This one is on the autonomy of an Asher flying horse. This one is on the autonomy of Asher's lizard. This is his latest series. So instead of having the whole picture with the same shapes, Indeed, we can see that there's a gradual change from one side of the painting to another side. So this relates to non-Euclidean geometry. So we call this Poincaré disk. All the black and white shapes here are congruent. That means this shape is congruent to this shape and is also congruent to this shape. You may wonder why. Because in the world here, Imagine that you're in the center and you're holding a ruler. So when you walk along the radius, your ruler diminished as well. And that is why all the shapes became smaller and smaller from the perspective outside. But if you're inside, you can see that all these shapes are congruent. So some years ago, I also tried to imitate Asher's Circle Limit 3 using mosaic tilings. This one is the video on how I created it and you can skip to 4 minutes and 10 seconds to see the artwork. This was exhibited in Chiwa Learning Common a few years ago. So there are some other themes of Asher's work that increase infinite looping, which is related to the infinity concept in mathematics. Another one is self-referencing, as well as impossible constructions or impossible sins, which is similar to the mathematical paradox. This is a famous Mobius strip too. So basically, you see that there is an ant walking along this Mobius strip. So Mobius strip is one-sided. Mobius strip is a loop. There's no start and there's no end. Just like the ant walking in a loop, which signifies the concept of infinity in mathematics. In the picture here is a tessellation of lizard. And then it became real, it goes here, and then it gets back to the picture. So this is a paradox. You may see that this one, you got like different gravities. To this two sides, it seems that the ground is somewhere close to us. And for these two sides, the ground is here. And then for these two sides, the ground is somewhere here. So this is another impossible shape. This one as well. So you can see that the picture actually changes here. From the bottom, you can go up. So you are inside. But if you look at here, you are outside. 
Another impossible painting is this one, the waterfall. So I suggest you to spend some time on this YouTube video to see what's happening in the real waterfall. So this one is called Relativity. See that the soldiers keep going up in the loop. The concept also happens in the movie Inception. So these two guys are my former colleagues. So what they do is they try to make this video. So they try to make the picture real as well. So in this BBC video, it talks about the mathematical art of MC Asher. The links of all these videos I mentioned are already uploaded on Widowed. This is a very good book, which is called Girdle, Asher and Bach, which relates Girdle, the mathematician, Asher, the artist, Bach, the musicians. So this is another book written by a professor in the City University on mathematics and art. So their research findings on the beauty of mathematics. So new research using fMRI found that mathematicians, when seeing beautiful mathematics, feel the same way as people feel about paintings and music. When they see a beautiful mathematical construction or an unexpected and wonderfully intricate arguments with precise logical interlocking pieces in the proof, I do feel the same way as when I see some art that amazes me. Beautiful math results sound like a melody. For me, equations are beautiful if they have elegant solutions or lead to unexpected, surprising results.